Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see if we know how to find expressions equivalent to these particular statements. They're a little bit more complicated. We're simply not just, just looking for an addition or a subtraction or multiplication. So let's read these statements and see if we can come up with an algebraic expression equivalent to these statements. The number of cents in n quarters. So we know that there's 25 cents for a single quarter, but we have n quarters, so if we multiply 25 times n, that gives us the number of cents in a quarter. So n is the number of quarters that we have, and for each quarter we have 25 cents, so we multiply 25 times the number of quarters, that gives us the number of cents. The sum of two numbers equals 15. We don't know what the numbers are, so we're going to represent them by two variables, x and y. When we add them, we set that equal to 15. So x plus y equals 15. It's actually an equation rather than a statement or an expression. The product of two numbers is four times their sum. Hmm. We have two numbers. Let's write down the product of the two numbers. So we have x times y. These are two numbers. We don't know what they are, and we multiply them together. So that's the product of the two numbers. It is equal because it says it is, so that means it is equal to 4 times their sum. So their sum would be x plus y, and 4 times that, we have to multiply that by 4. So this reads the product of two numbers, x and y, is or is equal to 4 times the sum of x and y. And so that's the expression or the statement that we can write equivalent to that sentence. The sum of a number, n3, divided by twice the number. So the sum means we're going to add two numbers together. One of them is known, three, the other one is not known, a number. So we use x for that. So we write the sum, x plus three, and then we divide that by twice the number. So we divide that by two times x, because two times x is twice the number, which can be written as x plus three divided by two x. So either one of those statements means exactly the same thing. So again, let's read it. The sum of a number and three, that's x plus three, divided by, divided by, twice the number, two times x. How about the sum of two consecutive odd integers? Consecutive means one after the other. So if we let x represent the smallest of the two odd, odd integers, so we have x being the smallest one, and the next one would be x plus two because there's always two between any two odd integers. So the two would be x and x plus two. So that's the first odd integer, the smaller of the two. And that's the next consecutive odd integer would be two more. If x was equal to three, then the next one would be five. If x was equal to seven, the next one would be nine and so forth. So you can see that means consecutive odd integers. Now what are we supposed to do with them? It says the sum of the two. All right, so that means x plus x plus 2. I don't have to write the parentheses, but at least it makes it a little bit more clear. So we have the sum of two consecutive odd integers, the sum of x and x plus 2. Next we read the product of three consecutive even integers. Well, even integers, just like odd integers, are always two apart. There's three of them. They're consecutive. So we take the smallest one and let it equal x. The next one would be x plus 2, and the next one would be x plus 4. Notice that it doesn't matter if they're odd integers or even integers. They can always be represented by the unknown x, and then even if they're odd or even, the next one would be plus 2, the next one plus 4, and so forth. But in this case, we read the word product, which means we have to multiply them. So that means x multiplied times x plus 2 multiplied times x plus 4 three consecutive integers, in this case even integer, or I shouldn't say integers, three consecutive even integers multiplied together. Finally, Mary is three years older than David. So again, we use the, the concept that the smallest number will be x, so let x be the age of David. So let x equal the age of David. And then Mary is three years older. So 3 years old means we're going to add 3 to that. So x plus 3 is equal to the age of Mary. 
And so you can see that we take statements, sentences, things that we use, typically find in, in algebra problems, and we have to convert those somehow to algebraic expressions that we can then manipulate as necessary. And here's some good examples of how to do that.